BioV is doing some interesting work in epigenetics and longevity. And with me is the CEO of the company, Kondo, to explain this. So really interesting to hear about how maybe our DNA is getting gunked up. So that's my scientific term of the day. <laughs> what does that mean? What are we doing? All right. Thank you, Jane, for having me back. Great to be here to talk about our work in epigenetics and longevity. You know, it, we all know people who look or perform at a level that seems either younger or older than their actual age. And that's because of something called epigenetics, which is how our behavior on things like diet and exercise and the environment interacts with our genetic code to affect our body. It's been shown that chronic inflammation leads to an acceleration of something called DNA methylation, which is a technical term for what I think of as our DNA just getting gunked up, which then affects how our body process our genetic code. Okay. So that's just so interesting. So tell me, how did you discover this? What do we know about it? What are you working on in particular at BioV about this? Yeah, so we know that this condition of getting gunked up is associated with accelerated aging, and it's been associated with many, many different age-related disorders. We know it's also driven by inflammation. And BioV is all about inflammation and reducing inflammation. So in our recent phase two trial, we showed that patients taking our drug candidate 3107 saw an improvement in cognition in a manner that's correlated with reduction in inflammation. In that same trial, we showed that those patients saw a three plus year reduction in something called the Horvath DNA methylation skin blood clock, which is a mouthful for something that measures essentially our biological age. Okay. Now, is this the same treatment that you're using for Alzheimer's that you discovered this? It is. So it they're is, related. It's, okay. It's the Very same treatment in the same trial. And so there may be some other benefits to this treatment that you're working on for Alzheimer's, which has been a really a game changer. It sounds like it could be for Alzheimer's. It, it is. We believe it's a, it's a game changer. And it's not, we believe it's not just about Alzheimer's, but it's about age related disorders, right? The trend out there is that we are all living longer. Right. And as such, there's an increasing burden of age related disorders for all of us and for society. Right. So that's part of the reason why we're just seeing an increasing rate of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, COPD, and so forth. Right. So this discovery that it reduces any 3107 saw a reduction of three plus years in our biological age doesn't mean to me that this is about the fountain of youth for reducing your age or anything like that. But it is all about giving us an avenue to go and study additional age-related disorders so that we can see if we can reduce the burden of disease as we all age. Interesting. So bring me up to date on the Alzheimer's treatment because uh, you really, your research on this and studies on this has really made BioVia contender in this space. Now, we're very excited about this trial. What we saw in the phase two study showed that we were able to reverse the cognitive decline in Alzheimer's among the patients in our trial. That was a small trial, but we now have a larger phase three trial well underway. We were almost finished enrolling patients for that trial, and we expect to have results from that trial in September, October of this time, this year. Okay. What did you find out in terms of when this treatment was, was most effective? Is it important that it is administered early at the first sign of symptoms or what did you learn about that? We found that it was more effective in patients who have MCI, which is almost think of it as pre-Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and mild Alzheimer's disease compared to those that have moderate in this very short, small trial. Our larger trial is looking explicitly at that question to see, does it work better for mild Alzheimer's patients or moderate? And we will soon launch another study to look at MCI explicitly as well. Fascinating. And um, Parkinson's also you've been working on. Now, is this also the same treatment as the Alzheimer's? It is, right? Because we believe it's all related. And what we showed in our phase two trial for Parkinson's is that patients taking our drug, any 3107 with the standard of care saw a clinically meaningful improvement in their motor control, right? So we're really, really excited about this because this could lead to the first new therapy if and when it's approved to treat Parkinson's since the advent of levodopa five decades ago. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we'll look forward to the results of those later this year, right? Yes, absolutely. 
absolutely. Okay. Anything else in the pipeline? I mean, you've got a lot of truly revolutionary things going, but anything else that you're working on? We have one other drug candidate in development called BIV201 for the treatment of ascites. Ascites is this terrible, terrible condition that is late stage liver disease. The mortality rate is 50% within 12 months, right? And we believe we will have the first drug candidate to treat ascites that's in late phase two right now. And we're hoping to work with the FDA to figure out how to launch the phase three trial for that. Okay. Well, very interesting to get these updates. And I'm really excited to see the next phase of the trials and, and what that shows. So thank you so much, Kongdo, the CEO of BioV. Thank you, Jane, for having me. Always a pleasure to be here. 